Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I am going to show you how you can display a PDF in Power Apps that is stored in a SharePoint document library. I was recently watching a video that Reza Durrani did on the same subject. It's a really good video and I highly recommend that you watch it. Um, I'll link it in the description. Um, and it was his video that led me to find a slightly different technique than he used, which I wanted to share with you. Now it's slightly more difficult um, in the document library end and at the Power Apps end, I think it's even easier than the technique that Reza showed, but both ways work really well. Um, so here I've got my PDF document library and I'm going to add another column. But unlike Reza who added a picture column or a hyperlink column, I'm going to add a column multiple lines of text. And I'm gonna call this data URI. Make sure you go into more options and click allow unlimited length and click save. Then I'm going to go to Power Automate and I'm going to create a flow. I'm going to choose when a new file is added, complete a custom action. I don't actually use it this way in production and in fact after you've seen this technique you might not even store the PDF. I don't store the PDF um, in my scenario, and I'll explain that a little bit more in the video. So I'm gonna call this um, update, update PDF data URI. Okay, so I'm gonna say when a file is created in uh, this folder, I'm gonna go into a get file content action and it's going to be from the same document library and the file identifier is going to be from when a file is created. Now I'm going to add a compose action and I'm going to use the file content. I'm just adding that there to show you what comes through to flow. We're not actually going to use this Okay, so my flow is saved now. So I'm going to come over to here, get my PDF files, and just drop one on. And that will make the flow execute. Okay, so now we can see the flow has executed. Let's have a look what happened. So in my compose action, where I got the file content, we can see that I've got this base64 encoded representation of the file. So I'm going to edit this now. Also just notice that there are two, this is an object get file content when we get it back. We get the content type and the content. So I'm now going to edit this again. And I am going to do update file properties. So I address again, the library, and the ID, the ID. So in the data URI, I'm going to do data URI base64 to binary. I'm going to choose from my dynamic content the get file content. And remember that had two properties. I had the content type and dollar content, which was the base64 encoded version of the file. This is going to turn it back to binary. So if I save that now, I'm going to rerun this flow. What we will see back in the document library is this has now got a data URI string in here. So if I go to Power Apps and I create a new Canvas app, So the first thing I'm going to add is some data. And I'm going to choose my document manager library and I'm going to choose my PDF library. So I've got that connection built in there now. And 
here I'm going to add a vertical gallery. And so I'm going to choose that as the data source. I'm just going to edit these fields a little bit. Uh, we'll go for title. It's going to be for file name with extension. So there's our test1.pdf. Now I'm going to add a PDF viewer. I'll move it over here. And there is our sample PDF. Not from here, but the, the sample PDF that's the default. So from here, I'm going to choose gallery one dot selected dot data URI. And there is our PDF just comes straight up. So there's no configuration to do whatsoever. So let's just go back and test this again. So I go to my test PDF files. I've got a different one here, which is a bit bigger. I'll drop that one on. That will execute the flow very shortly, which is going to update that data URI value. Okay, that has now executed. So if I go back to Power Apps, I'll just refresh my data here. You can see I've got test two. And there is the same file, but I've got my blog logo in it this time. Now, this is a really, really easy method. And the reason that I wanted to use this method is I'm building a power app in Dataverse for Teams. I needed to have the PDF viewer, but I didn't want to be storing the PDFs inside of Dataverse. I wanted to keep them in a SharePoint library. So all I'm doing is when I'm generating one of these files, um, and I'm actually doing it in a custom list, I'm just storing the SharePoint ID of that column. Um, and then I stick a gallery into my um, app, but it's invisible, and then filter it based on the SharePoint ID of my selected item in Dataverse. And then I can just bring this file straight back by getting the first entry because there'll only ever be one. And as you can see, it is super quick um, to display because it's not accessing it via an API. It is just pulling it straight from the SharePoint list and displays it instantly. So um, I hope that's really helpful. Give it a go. If you've got any questions, do let me know. As I say, in mine, I don't have, um, I'm not using it in this format. I'm not uploading documents to a PDF library manually. Um, the PDFs are just being stored just in data URI format, and then we can pull them straight out into um, the Power App. So I've just got this inside a custom list. But see how you get on. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to help you out. Thanks to, I wanted to mention, um, I got this idea from this Bruce365.com, um, and he was actually using this technique to display images on a mobile device. And I've tested this on my iPad, and it worked well. So see what sort of mileage you get, and let me know. Cheers. Bye-bye.